My name is Josefa and I'm from the support team of Tradetron.tech. Today I'm going to be showing you how to handle a very common uh, error status which is the error execution and I will also um, be uh, talking to you a little bit about what exactly is this error execution status. So um, let's, uh, let's have a look at uh, what my broker credentials are. I'll go to brokers and exchanges and to simulate an error execution uh, status i have uh, i have put in some uh, uh, some random letters uh, in my uh, in my broker and exchanges uh, credentials so uh, i have opened uh, brokers and exchanges and you can see here is uh, files so if i go to edit you should be able to see um, my files uh, account uh, I, in, in client ID I have put some random uh, text which is not my uh, files account so obviously it is not going to be able to place an order so uh, let's try opening a strategy uh, I'll just look for itc.tradetron.tech uh, this strategy fires um, one share of ITC as an order uh, in order to test the uh, the, the connectivity between uh, your uh, your uh, your Traytron account and the brokers also. so I just duplicate the strategy and after that I will go to my strategies so in my strategies uh, I will see the uh, ITC uh, strategy that is there here so I'll simply deploy this in live auto to show you. Um, and I'll select my broker as files. So let me go to the deployed page. Uh, so until uh, the order gets uh, fired, let me just uh, walk you through what exactly is this error execution status. Um, error execution is a status that uh, that Traytron puts when uh, it does not receive a response uh, regarding an order fired. Um, so let's assume uh, Traytron has fired an order for you. Uh, when your condition satisfy and uh, when this happens your uh, bro from the broker's uh, end there is uh, no response or the response is, uh, is very delayed in that case what happens is uh, Tradetron does not know if your order was placed successfully or not uh, in this case we cannot place a second order because we don't know uh, if your previous order has been accepted partially placed uh, or fully placed or not received by the broker's end so uh, in this case, uh, in order to play it safe, uh, we, we ask for a user intervention wherein uh, we put the strategy on error execution status. So as you can see, the status here has changed to error execution manage. Um, one great feature that we have also added is that along with this uh, error execution uh, status, uh, you, will, you will get a call on your contact number within three minutes of this uh, status being flashed. So, uh, so this will be an auto-generated call. So, in case uh, if you uh, if you uh, if your strategy goes into an error execution, you will get a call from us uh, within three minutes. Um, now, how are you supposed to manage this error execution? So, when you click on Manage out here, you will see there are three different uh, there are three different options. Um, now, one critical thing to do at this point of time is that you are supposed to go to the broker's uh, broker's account, log into your broker's account and go to the uh, order book and check if the order that you are trying to place, was it placed or not? Uh, and if it was, uh, if it, the order was placed, has it been filled or not? If you go to the order book and have a look and find that the order has already been placed and for whatever reason, trade plot has not been updated about it, you can simply go to completed manually and you can uh, you can uh, you can tell Traytron that this order has been placed. If in case you see that the order was not placed uh, and uh, it, subsequently it is not even being filled, in that case what you can do is uh, you can simply come here and click on Try again. So when you click on Try again and then you click on Proceed, uh, what it does is that the that the system will try to fire another. Uh, another uh, order uh, for the same position. So uh, you have to take note out here that uh, this will try to fire the exact same order that it was trying to fire previously 
due to which uh, the error execution occurred. So uh, this way, uh, it, you can ask the system to try again to fire the order. Um, if in case you, uh, if in case you see that uh, the order that uh, the, the signal that was generated for your order at present it has got missed, and you do not wish to wish to place the order again at that time. What you can do is you can simply go to uh, error execution and click on manage uh, again and then click on cancel. So um, in that case, your your strategy will will go back to uh, the previously uh, held status that it had. So uh, currently, if you see the status is active, uh, it is trying to fire the order. Um, and in some time, I see that the error execution status will pop up again because uh, I have used dummy uh, details. So now I can just click on manage. If I don't want to proceed with uh, the order and I don't want to proceed with firing the same order and I can simply click on cancel. So when I click on cancel, note it will not cancel any other order. It will not in reality cancel. It will simply uh, ignore this order that you are trying to place and it will continue running the strategy uh, the way it was previously. So let's assume previously if, if it was on active state. In that case, now also it will continue being on active state wherein it will check for your conditions. Uh, if previously it was on live entered state, it will go back to live entered state and it will check for your exit conditions. Um, one tip uh, to check uh, if your order, uh, to check the reason why uh, you know your ex error execution happened is that you can go to these three dots out here and you can find the notification log. So here is the notification log and just click on it. Within the notification log, you will see uh, each and every uh, details of uh, why the order was, uh, was rejected. Uh, so if in case, uh, as you can see, my entry was satisfied, it was tranching the position and uh, then it gave me a response saying the user access token is not generated. This means that the server of the broker's end has rejected my order. So if in case you see uh, there is something like RMS or if you see something related to token uh, or if you see uh, or if you see some message from the broker saying invalid password or some uh, or something like that, that generally means that the broker has received the order but has rejected the order. Uh, in that case, uh, in that case, you don't necessarily need to check uh, in the order book. Um, However, uh, if you see that there is no message out here and there is nothing that you can, you know, understand clearly as a response from the broker, in that case, it is uh, safer to go and check on the order book of your, uh, at your broker's end, if the order was placed or not, and then subsequently you can take action. So, uh, I hope uh, this uh, session on error execution was uh, able to help you. Uh, if you have any questions or any queries related to this, please feel free to uh, get in touch with us on uh, support at tradetron.tech. Thank you.